Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion from Pacific Imperialist, and he suggests... Do what if the solar system orbited a pulsar? I don't think I've done this before. I've had a couple of videos where I've replaced the sun with various stars, but I don't think I've ever done it with a pulsar. So let's go ahead and give that a shot, and let's just see what happens. So here's the sun. And we're going to have to replace this with a pulsar, a neutron star, but we're going to have to make it the same mass as the sun, which I don't think is actually possible, but we're going to do it anyways with the uh, parameters we can set in the game. So let's go ahead and go to stars and let's just grab the crab pulsar, place it as a still object right there, a little tiny object, basically the size, if not actually quite a bit smaller than Earth. And let's just go ahead and change the value to one sun. There we go, there's our neutron star that is the mass of one sun. Let's go ahead and put Mercury beside it. Mercury, as you can tell, is a lot bigger. And we got Earth right here. If we zoom into the pulsar, let's go, to, go ahead and go to man-made objects and let's grab the biggest one we got, which is the Great Pyramid of Giza. And there you go, that's pretty crazy right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Whoops, not not get rid of the pulsar. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And Wow, it takes a while to zoom out of this little thing. And let's just see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and view the uh habitable region, which is oh wow. There's not even a blue region here, is there? It's just red and green. I wonder why that is, is that you just cannot be anywhere within that radius or something? I don't really know. Let's just go ahead and slow down time a little bit, and let's hit play, and let's just watch what happens. We'll watch the climate of Earth, and the temperature is immediately dropping very, very quickly. It's not based off temperature or something like that. Not really too sure. But the temperature is just absolutely plummeting. Oh wow, it's even going to the negatives on Mercury too. So, this thing's not really putting out much heat at all, is it? I imagine the surface temperature is quite high. Oh, it certainly is. But it's not really emitting much solar radiation, no real solar winds or solar flares or much light at all, so... None of this is actually being really warmed by this pulsar. Look at how dim the planets are. They also got a very faint color too, very faint blue color. Go over to Earth, it's probably pretty dark. Well, it's illuminated by it, but not... I don't think it'd be this illuminated. I mean, look at how bright that pulsar really is. I don't know, maybe. It could be a lot brighter. It just doesn't really appear that way in the game. But as you can see, everything just kind of dropped in temperature like crazy. And as you can see, Jupiter is really making this thing move. Now you can actually see how much the sun actually moves when uh, Jupiter orbits around it. And you can tell it's Jupiter. Typically, by the way, it's just kind of tugging on it. Which direction it's orbiting. As Jupiter turns that way, it wants to basically turn around. It's going to keep spir spiraling around like that. I'm sure Saturn also has quite a bit of influence on it. But there you go, that is essentially, uh... Oh yeah, there it goes, just did a complete S turn towards Jupiter. So yeah, it's always being pulled towards Jupiter, but that's uh, that gives you an idea of how much the sun actually moves. Due to Jupiter's gravitational influence, but yeah, not really too much happened. It looks like everything just mostly froze over. Interesting. Let's go ahead and halt the simulation again. And now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's go ahead and add a blue giant. What should we use? A blue white giant equivalent to 12 masses of the sun. I'm not going to be able to do this with something that's equivalent to the sun, am I? Blue giants are just way too massive. There's a blue main sequence star. 
Hydrogen White Dwarf. <laughs> Rigel's equivalent to 21 suns. Wow. Okay, we'll just, uh... Hmm. Which one should we use? This one's closest. It's just me. It's a... Start in its main sequence stage. It's not a giant stage yet, so I think we'll use this. We'll put it roughly in the center here. And we'll drop its mass down to one sun. Hopefully it will not change color on us. Nope, it looks like it's mostly fine. And let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit. Now something tells me this might be a little bit more devastating. Let's see the habitable region for this star yet. Okay, so it's not actually showing that. If I toggle it back on and off, it doesn't actually want to show that. So maybe I have to hit play to get it to actually calculate or something like that. We'll see. Now it's not showing the habitable region, but as you can see, Earth is immediately boiling away. Yeah, that, that can't be good. Mars is sitting at 585 degrees. What about Jupiter? Ooh, 188. Yeah, that 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 can't. 71 for Saturn. Uranus is negative 29. Neptune is negative 78. What about Pluto? It climbed a little bit. It's still going up. Like it's shooting up in temperature right now. Just go ahead and speed up time. Let the simulation kind of progress and see what the temperatures turn off to. 141 for Pluto. Neptune stopped at negative 77. Uranus is still going up, it looks like. Saturn's sitting at a nice warm 55 degrees Celsius. Ooh, Jupiter is sitting at 180. Declining. Can't really explain that other than probably just the initial placement of the star. Temperature? No, it must be seasons. It's going back up. Okay. Just halt the simulation. 581 for Mars. Earth is looking pretty good. It's only, it's only has like a has a seasonal swing between 700 and 825 degrees Celsius. I mean, that, that's nothing. That's average temperature, so that's not even at the equator. Down time a little bit and see if we can get Venus selected. Now Venus is gonna be the fun one. 2,000, 3,000. It peaks it peaks out at like 3,100 degrees Celsius. Here it is, uh, is a little bit toasty. What about Mercury? Uh, just sitting up there in like 1600 degrees. So yeah, that's what happens if we uh, put a blue main sequence star where our sun sits. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you guys in the next one.